welcome to Dr. Pet's vlog and as usual I hope all of you are doing great now recently there was this NSSB exam so in paper 1 uh, set D question number 66 there was one question in which of the following districts of Nagaland is the desert peak craft village located that was the question and the options were Dimapur, Kohima, Beren and none of this so this is a very tricky question so I'm sure most of you have chosen Dimapur district uh, I'm not very sure because uh, after the division of these districts it falls under Trumukidima so the answer can be Dimapur district or none of this so it depends upon uh, the board members because right now after the division of districts it has come under Trumukidima district so we never know what is the correct answer of course, technically speaking, if it falls under Jumukidima district, it will have none of the above option. But if they have just um, used Dimapur district, then the correct answer will be Dimapur. So right now I'm going there, so we'll learn more about this craft center after I reach there. So this is the direction. Craft showroom, Dezepe craft village. So let's go and see. Road is not that good, Kata Road, but let's go. They need to flag up this road. I wish the upcoming candidates will do something about this. So, this is the signboard. So they have written very nicely, welcome to craft showroom. So let's go inside and see the craft room. So this is the entire room where they have placed the various things to be sold like this. Here with the main owner, so uncle, it's the Apla Center. It's not the Apla Center. It to Amahal Nato Henry Draft Star Kurato nineteen uh ninety seven days or Kurosha. Tony Gahone nineteen ninety seven pra two thousand top to Hole Amahan uh Eku Gormisa Teku Felicity to Nai. Kindo two thousand day Helnum Henry Draft Aru Ministry of Test Salto at a common or shit at Amahan Kimano Disha. To Tatepari Amahan Kurine etiatop to Nika Kam Kurasa. Option the Dimapur, Kohima, Terran or none of the above. To have no option the none of the above asset na. Ito to chumuki dima district to hoda. Acha acha. To have ni to saman kanto bikai na kina. Ne bikai se bikai. To local manu bi ase bahar tapi ni ka patha di thake. Kole bi bishi phato ami odhari bishi kure. Tango apni to wholesale de na kina di to. Oi to wholesale hisab tek kam kure. So, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? How do So, this is the beautiful handicrafts which they have made, locally made, yes. So, those who want to order can also order. So, they are giving the wholesale rate. So, this is how they are doing. And it is not run by the government, it is run by a private individual. So, so far, it seems they have not received any help from the state government. So, hopefully, our government might help them in the future. And like he said, he takes all these products to sell here and there, plus also ex exports. And he is also coming to Hornbill to sell all these products. So all those who are coming to Hornbill, you can meet him and you can talk with him. And plus you can also buy and support local products. So all these are handmade, made purely by Naga people, made from Nagaland. So you can see different, different products. So headgears, necklace uh, different different products all indigenous products let me go very slow and show you all 
So he is the uncle, the main owner. So these are the wooden plates which we used to eat food. It's very common for Simi community. And these are the smaller ones, which is used by many Naga tribes like Angami, Chakasang. So all local products, these are the max. In olden days, we used this max to drink rice beer, but right now they are used for different uh, for teas and for different different drinks. No more rice beer. But of course, you will get rice beer in Hornbill Festival. Not alcoholic, but just the local rice beer prepared by, by rice. Okay. So everything here is handmade plus made of wooden. So this is a hanger made from bamboo. So uh, price I don't know, it's not mentioned here. So even these bags, carry bags. Uh, so this is a nice carry bag, all locally made. So I'll show you the products one by one. And this is a necklace, uh, what do you call, bracelet or necklace, yes. So worn by some communities, especially by our cognac brothers or palm communities, they wear this one. Pure metal, it's made of pitol. It costs around 4,000 rupees. So even here, so many necklaces are there. And this is also there worn by Naga women. So the price here is within 1,500 rupees. If you come here, you will get a discount price. But if they go out special to Hornbill, it might cost around 2,000 rupees. So because of transportation costs, all those things. So it, it comes over that much. This is a beautiful, uh, what do you call, decor decorative item of a girl. And this is a headgear. Headgear worn by many Naga communities, Naga tribes, while dancing, all those things they wear. So this is a headgear worn by men. Even here, this is worn by Angamis and Chakasang, if I'm not mistaken. So you, have, you can see so many products here. So this is a very nice, beautiful, decorative bee, made from wooden. And you have even a very well-crafted chopping board, all made from pure wood. So instead of buying products from outside, we should always encourage our local products. Why do you always have to buy from other states? So we can always buy from all local products. So this is how we increase our economy. I'll show you some more. And this is a, what, uh, a cup or chalice for drinking juice or wine, anything. Very beautiful made. So these are all wooden plates. And these wooden plates uh, cost around 800 rupees. So more or less equivalent to this aluminum plate, which, which we get in the market. So this is pure wood made from hair itself, 800 rupees. So I'll show you some more. So all these are different different marks, plates. See different different designs of necklaces worn by different communities. And this is worn by our Takasung and Angami, if I'm not mistaken. I have seen them wearing this. Very heavy, very nice and very beautiful. Yeah, come over here and this even here they have designed so beautifully for ladies and for girls i have seen this product sold by 100 rupees but over here you will get 70 rupees it's mentioned here 70 rupees so all different different products even this tray beautifully made from cane or from bamboo so we need not waste our money buying from other places especially for all those plastics and all or glass this looks so beautiful, so natural. So we even have here chimta, what do you call tong for boil? Yes. And here over here we have different different spoons and frock. So you see, very beautifully designed frock. Made purely from bamboo. And this is the basket for carrying the and here we have these spoons very smooth very beautiful craft showroom since 2001 so this is a bootsy for girls you always buy uh, made from leather made from plastic all those things here we have this wooden sandal not just one side you can even wear this both side. See? Very beautifully designed. Wooden sandals for girls. 
and then this is a very unique hanger see this is just it looks like a simple uh, bamboo or wood but then you can fold this and make into a beautiful hanger it's a very very innovative you fold this and it becomes like this for storing you unfold and it becomes a hanger it is going to be exported to other, other states so to Assam, to Manipur and all so these are the plates and the cost per plate is around 400 rupees very good product so all wooden plate this is the wooden, the raw product and after this they put it into the plate it is a semi finished product and the finished product looks like this this is the finished product so from just a wood from this, they convert into this. It's a beautiful made. Handmade in Nagano itself. So here they are making key holders. This is a boot key holder. And this is in preparation of the Hornbill Festival, which is coming very soon. Yeah, so this is the Hornbill, yes. So all those who want this, you can either come here or you can visit Hornbill in Kisama and purchase this as a souvenir. Hornbill Festival Nagalin, starting from December 1. So this is the craft center, so we can see that how people are working. So, this, so they are working here. So that was my short visit to this craft village. So I learned some new things. I think even my viewers will learn some new things. This is not run by the government. This is run purely by private individual with no help from a state government. And there's a confusion now because uh, earlier it was under Dimapur district, but now it falls under Chumikidma district. So let's see how many of you wrote Dimapur district and how many of you chose the option none of the above. I'm not sure which answer will be correct. It depends upon the board members of NSSB. So you can always visit this wonderful place, nice place, and support the local product. We have everything there. So if you see our scenario in today's time, we depend everything from other states. Whereas we are making use of our potential. We have a lot of potential, but there is no support and help. So in small little ways, we can also support our small uh, business people or artisans by purchasing their products so do visit this place buy their products you can buy from here plus you can also visit Hornbill where they'll be selling their products so take care and I will see you in the next vlog